Nazareth. Free Tay Cat Mike, what's good, bro? What's good, D Free Battle Buddy? What's happening? Mike, check, Mike, check. One of those face. I got a pinch nerve or something, man. I'm about to go get a massage this weekend. What's going on? Uh, what's good, man? Y'all come on through, come on through. Can I get a mic check? Uno dos. Okay, we ain't in no rush. Yeah, man. We got to finish this one out. We got to finish this one out, Ebon. What's good, my bruh? My brethren? Cat, how you doing? Ooh, my neck. My neck and my back. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it, man. Smash the like button. Share, like, subscribe to the channel. All that stuff if you haven't. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. What's good, Rod? Hink, my boy. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy Hink, the basement, and my boy D-Free, TWT, and my boy Ebo. Hey, if you got a channel, subscribe to the people, man. What's good with you, Hink? We need to finish this video off. I ain't gonna start till we get 15 people. Y'all know how we do it. What's today? Today is hump day. A beautiful 70 degrees here in Rochester, Minnesota. What's good, E? Happy birthday, my guy. Happy born day, old man. May the Lord bless you with many more. You better, you better turn right, Grandma. Okay. So get your girl. Shit, that ain't gonna help. Not when it's a pinch nerve. I can feel it too, because my back was spasming yesterday. Audi, what's good, man? We back at it like a crack addict. We got 12 in the building. I need 15 to start. We're going to finish out what we were talking about the other day before I was so rudely interrupted. I had to pick up my grandson. And me and him chop it up when we in the truck. So we talking about the do's and don'ts, the wills and won'ts. These people can't drive. They so scary, y'all. Make sure you type in the chat so I know you're here. We need that activity. You know what I'm saying? Y'all being active in the chat, let the algorithm know that people should come watch this video too. So I appreciate everybody who participate in the chat. I appreciate everybody who come through on a regular basis. Tonight is Wednesday, so I will be back at, 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 back at it with the crew season. So y'all make sure y'all check me out. It's gonna be simulcast here, so you can check it out here too. You ain't gotta go deal with all the people in the cruise season. Uh, what's the name if you don't want to in the chat that you don't know if you don't want to? Not me. I need to fix my mirror. Thing fell off. All right, man, let's get to it. Now, so yesterday, 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 no, yesterday, day before yesterday, I didn't go to work yesterday. I wasn't feeling good. Um. Ladies is out of order, and let me explain why. Let's just jump back into it. We building, what's good, peace? Let's jump right back into where we left off. Let me explain something to y'all. Isn't it funny, ain't that funny, on some J-Lo-ish, right? Ain't it funny how you hear women saying they need a man who follows God when they don't follow God themselves? So wouldn't that be proving to us in a, in, in a, wouldn't that be basically saying that a woman can't follow God unless she has a man to show her how to do it? That's just me. Man, they tearing buildings down. Like, man, I, I need, man. So, so, so let's really look at it, right? So we have, uh, I don't, look, I ain't talking about hoes out here this guy trying to decide disguise themselves as good women we see it in these spaces all the time all these women who want to throw god 
They want to throw God and Jesus and quote the Bible and scriptures and not the ones who really mean it, not the ones who got the proof of concept, who can show you really what's popping, what's really going on, right? What's really going on, right? But the ones who supposedly got the answers but no results are always up here trying to tell men about, hey, you got to be a God-fearing man, da 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 You have to be with Jesus, such and such, woo-woo. But when y'all be the main ones out here, y'all be the main ones. Right? And if y'all say you know the Bible and you say you want a man, you you want to make you want that you want a man that follows God and Jesus, the true leader or not, right? Listen to what I'm saying, guys. Whether he's a capable leader or not, if you chose to lay down with that man, have children with that man, and get married to that man, you are supposed to follow his leadership as a woman. Did y'all hear what I said? Or leave him be. Or leave him be. You were supposed to follow that man. If you're all in your Bible, if you're about the ways of the Most High, the ways of the Lord, right? And all this stuff you say you are, right? So that means even though if you deemed your man, if you look at your man a certain way and you feel not, hey, you feel that he's not a capable leader, you still were supposed to follow him because you chose him. That's right. Or leave him be. Like I, I, the, the, the contradictions and the lies got to stop. And the lies got to stop. A lot of these women, uh, most, I might as well go, yep, I might as well go because it's quick that way. Um, yep. A lot of these women out here, y'all, they preaching stuff, they preaching stuff that, that one, they don't follow in real life. And two, Ain't in God, ain't, ain't in godly or uh, biblical fashion. Period. What's good, flawless? She, we always been here, bro. How you been, man? Right. Because the truth is, let's let's be honest. Let's be totally totally transparent, guys. Because the truth is. A man can only lead within his capabilities. Y'all hear what I'm saying? A man can only lead within his faculties, within his capability. Within his understanding. So again, if you're if you're if you're a woman of if you're a godly woman. And you want a you want a man as in the Bible? Shouldn't you be able to recognize those? Uh, so we put the tulips for sale. Say, so, um, shouldn't you be able to recognize those capabilities on your own? So wouldn't that mean that you really know for a fact what that man what that man could or is capable of doing when you mess with him? Or again, guys, if I'm off, and I'm, I'm not talking about what happens. I ain't talking about the rigmarole. I ain't talking about, I'm talking about the responsibilities of a woman. Because the truth is, at least from my, from my standpoint, at least from my standpoint is that I've heard a hundred, at least a hundred times or more that a woman knows what she's going to do with a man when she sees, sees him within five minutes, within five minutes of seeing him. Hey, Lala.
Hey, don't, hey, don't lose no money behind me. So shouldn't she as a woman looking for a God-fearing man, a holy man, a man of Christ, a man of the cloth or whatever you want to call it, right? Shouldn't she have the ability to recognize that stuff already? And if she doesn't have the ability to recognize, whose fault is that? If you don't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, whose fault is that? Is that still the man's fault? I got questions. Okay, so let me let me say this right here and I'm gonna let y'all go because I gotta get back to work. It's a busy day. Mike said, these bras, these bras suck us with money. Yeah, man. My brother, how you doing, bro? Harris Tribe Media Group, make sure y'all subscribe. Cerebro Saturdays, Shame Sundays. So, so look, look at this here, and, and I, I want y'all, I want y'all to, to peep game, right? Y'all know how in San Francisco, California, Chicago, right? These democratic states, and this gonna make—I know, I know this sounds crazy, but it's gonna make sense once I tell y'all, right? Once, once I break it down, right? Y'all see how they made it so if you steal something, you don't. These people is out here living in tents. It's like, if you steal something out of a commercial venue, they won't arrest you. So what started happening, guys? What started happening in places like Chicago and, and San Francisco? What started happening? People just start bum rushing stores, right? Just mobbing stores. Why not? Why not? I mean, you can't go to jail for it. There's no consequence or repercussion, right? What they tell, what they tell uh, the stores, the retail stores, they say, uh, file it with your insurance, right? And now, listen, they just take. Listen to what I'm saying. We build it. They wipe the stores clean, cat student right. So listen to what I'm saying, right? While, listen, listen. While the people that still should be held accountable, isn't it really the legislator and the, uh, the city's, the city's responsibility? Right. So even though even though the people stealing out of the stores, they they mob, they mob robbing the stores. It, it doesn't doesn't the city bear some responsibility. Or to be honest, don't they bear all the responsibility for even bringing that into fruition? DP Rocker was good. La la D, I see you. Hey, Ashley. They're firing employees for trying to stop a theft. But again, listen, I, I need the answer to the question, guys. Who's Who bears more responsibility? Is it the store? Understand, Lala D, but I need an answer to the question, though. No.
Is it the store's fault? Is it the people that's stealing fault? They should be held accountable. But who's responsible? What's good, Sean? Who's responsible for setting the terms? Or better yet, who's responsible for setting the atmosphere? Is it the city or the store? Or better yet, is it the people that's stealing? Yes, they should be held accountable. Is it not is it not the people who make the rules responsibility to uphold them to enforce them Is it not the is it not the responsibility of the people who make the rules to enforce them. For the person that sets the atmosphere, right? To maintain it. Or to change it. Ebo said true, but if they don't, then it's up to the sports store to protect itself. Okay, so hey, hey, Ebo, thank you, thank you. So let's sit it right there. So let's sit it right there. Who set the terms of the sexual marketplace when it comes to dating? The people that's stealing. It's the city and the ignorant of us to believe in the lawmakers vote. Otherwise, Chicago and those other cities are going to see a lot more deaths. That's it's Chicago. But don't 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 fly off the don't jump off the cliff. I need y'all to stay with me now. I'm not I'm not switch. I'm not pivoting. So who sets the terms of the dating marketplace? Of course you. Nobody. The woman. So the woman is the city, right? So the woman is the city, right? Hey, Princessa. The woman is the city, right? In comparison to the story we just we just said, right? Right. So the woman equal the city, right? So a shout out to what my boy Ebo said, right? So women, suppose, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this right now, Ebo, to clarify, right? The modern woman is setting the stage or setting the terms for dating right now. Because if that wasn't the case, 
we wouldn't be here complaining. We'd be still, it'll be still good. It, no one would be fussing about there's not enough good women. Right? So just like he said, now the modern woman might set the terms for dating. Right? The modern, the modern woman might set the terms for dating, but then we have traditional and good women whose responsibility it is to protect themselves. Right, Ebo? So solid. What's good with you, my boy? How you doing, brethren? I mean, it would behoove a good woman to protect herself from the market that's been, that's been established that she doesn't want to participate, correct? I mean, you don't want to shop at Walmart, but God damn it, you got to go sometimes, right? Dub, what's good? I mean, you love to buy local, but ain't no local grocery stores, right? I'm just waiting for y'all to catch up. I'm looking at me. Y'all like y'all looking at me. Right? And while the men are, be, the, the men should be held accountable, they should. If she marries a man, she agrees with everything. <laughs> right? And the men, they should. But just like those people that's looting in, uh, in Chicago, you can't even call it looting no more because they can't go to jail for it. So it ain't looting, you know, mass shopping for free, whatever you want to call it, right? And in San Francisco, they simply playing by the rules that have been been established. That's what's going on today in the date market. That's what's going on. And like I said the other night, women, y'all need to stop trying to hold men responsible for the thing, the one thing you guys are responsible for. The one thing, the one thing, ladies, y'all responsible for, y'all try to put it off on men as a whole. And the truth is, for the majority of these so-called fake Christians and these Bible thumper women, right, that so know the, that so love the Bible so much. If y'all knew your Bible, if you followed your Bible, if you were looking for a man of God, you wouldn't be put through the, the things you go through. It wouldn't take you eight relationships to find no dude. It wouldn't take you seven relationships to find no dude. It wouldn't take you six or five. What's good, D? How you doing, sis? It wouldn't take you six or five. But why marry a man you don't agree with? Why would you? That's the question, Ashley. That's a great question. Why would you? But if you did, are you aware that you're still supposed to follow him? Then that's what I'm saying. Ash, Ashley basically, Ashley this, Ashley this, Ashley. Ashley. I agree, I'm not religious. I hear you, sis. And that's my exact point, Ashley. Right? What I'm saying is this. If you believe in if you do, if you believe that the man should be an effective leader, why don't you marry an effective leader? Why is it that there's so many women that get into it and say, hey, this dude is this, that, that, and this, and you couldn't recognize it from the beginning? Because again, if you are a woman about your business, right? If you are a woman, and this is me talking about the the, the, the so-called women who follow the Bible and want a godly man next to Jesus. If you was if you was following the rules of the good book, then the men you picked, you wouldn't have picked them, right?
right? Sometimes a, a woman's perspective of leadership changes, and that's a her problem, dear. That's a her problem. Because I can only be me, like I told you the other night. When you married your husband, right? All you knew what you had, all you knew was the man you had in front of him, in front of you. Now you had hopes and you had hopes. You had, he had potential, right? But it, it, it's not guaranteed that he's going to achieve that potential, correct? So what it's really about is loving the person in front of you, not the person down the road. Mike Biggs, what's good? Right? We all grow different, right? But the truth is, there's no guarantee that that man is going to achieve the goals that you wish him to do. And the same for you. But forever comes with everything, right? Forever comes with everything, not just part of what you want. Even when we were in the street, he took care of me. That's what I knew for sure. Exactly. It just messes stuff up at work. He said, you both so sorry. I agree with the leading, but some men get caught up with thinking they're always right when they allow that. My mom, 40 years later, is dead there. And when she couldn't take it no more, what happened? She walked away. That's what a woman's supposed to do. We were kids, though, so it's different because we grew up together. I understand that. I understand that, dear, but I'm sure in between those times, y'all had great times and some not so good times. Right? All, all we can do is really hope is that there's more good times than bad because we people. We, we people. I'm not saying it's wrong or right. I'm just saying shit happens. Like I say all the time. Is that is that man in front of you worth it? Ms. D, how you doing? Is that man in front of you worth it to go through some troubles? That's all it is. And hopefully he make it worth it. I think that's the whole point. A man, most, most, most good women, right? They gonna stay with a man when he mess up. Not just for the fact that they, the love him is the, the love him, loving him is the glue, right? That's the glue that really, that's the that's the glue that really pull it all together at the end of the day when it comes to a woman that she loves him, right? But a man got a better chance of keeping his good woman when he do what he's supposed to do as a majority. Right? It's never, I don't care what nobody say, it's never just I love him, right? Either that guy's the very best option you ever going to get or he provides a certain benefit that you know you're not going to get anywhere else. Whether it's some type of freedom, some type of uh, leverage, whatever. When he's consistent. Exactly, babe. That's what I'm saying, sis. Right? But, and however, let's get back on topic. And I got to get out of here. I ain't trying to hold y'all for too long. Right. Um, you can't really like this is this is not. Listen, this is not the NFL draft, ladies. Right. This is not the NFL draft. Right. Where you where you have a. <laughs> right. Where you. Or better yet, shit, it might be, to be honest with you. Shit, better yet, it might be when you think about it, right? Because it is the NFL draft. Fuck it, my bad, I said it wrong. It is the NFL draft because if you're a rookie coming into the game, look at it like this, right? And, and, and this man drafted you, right? You, you can complain about the culture all you want until you're ready to get your ass off the team.
But that coach still a coach, right? Even though, even though the rookie feel a coach don't know what he's doing, right? On, on he on his Willie Beam and shit, right? Even though he feel like the coach, <laughs> even though he feel like the coach don't make the right calls or the right plays, you still gonna get your ass out there and run them coaches' plays, ain't you? Ain't you? Whether you think he a good coach or not. Coach is trash. Crad, he trash. Hey, but you going on that power eye, ain't you? You going on that power eye, ain't you? When he say when he say hit the gap, you going to hit the gap, ain't you? Right? Yeah. That's all I got. I will have, I consider myself a free agent. Yeah, you will be a free agent after you leave your husband. That's when you are a free agent. <laughs> right? That's when you are a free agent. Unless she calls an audible. And hey, what's going to happen, Ebo? She going to sit on a bench. We gonna get your replacement up here. <laughs> That's how the BF was a good coach. <laughs> oh, you don't want to play? <laughs> But, hey, that's all I got, man. Shout out to y'all for coming through, man. Tonight we on crew season. We will be simulcasting. Make sure y'all come through tonight, 9-ish, 9.30-ish. I don't know. You know, my boy Trill be on that CP. He on that CP time, but that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? That's still my dog, man. Um, That's the way love goes, baby. Marcus, what's good, my boy? Said relationship should be 100% both ways, not 50, because something happens, you're not able to give your 50%. Buntine South D Town, the whole hundred. Hey man, your, your relationship is about whatever works for you, man. Right? It's about whatever works for you. You know what type of woman you 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 want. You know what type of woman you I ain't gonna say need, because most people don't pick the woman they need. They pick the woman they want. What's good, D? What's today? Hey, tomorrow we're gonna talk boxing. We're gonna talk boxing today, Wednesday. We're going to talk tomorrow. Tomorrow, I got a new show. I'm going to start it. It's called The Landscape. I'm going to try to do it before. Uh, oh, we all right, Bonton. We're about to get out of here, bro. Um, no worries. Um, I'm going to try to start it before. But damn, it's gonna be BF. I, I, it's, it's gonna be tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. If y'all want to watch it, come watch it. I'm still gonna do it. Um, cause tomorrow I know we got KO, KO on tomorrow night. We know BF on at five, and they kind of run it. They kind of run together. But yeah, it's gonna be called the landscape. We just gonna talk about boxing. It's about boxing, uh, dear. The, we gonna talk about the news and boxing. The things that's going on, the things we see. I need to get back on track with my box, and I've been bullshit. Especially you now we're gonna be in that uh T TKO bracket. I'm gonna take that, take that, take take all that little money. Take all that little money that uh KO giving away on that debate series. I'm about to take all that little money. What time? That's what I'm saying, Ash. I, I don't know. It's pro it'll probably be before. It pro if I can get off, if I can get off work early tomorrow, I do it probably like at three thirty. This is a lot of boxing I want to talk about that I ain't said nothing about. I don't care about no tickets. 6.30 or 7, that's, uh, KO go live at 7. I 
I do it. I do it. Hey, we'll do it tomorrow at 6 30, Ash. We'll do it tomorrow at 6 30. Screw it. It'll be all right. We'll do it tomorrow at 6 30. He said, What? He said, My husband's just showing me. I think his name. Yeah, that's the ghost, Frank Martin. That's the ghost. Bruce Gas, how you doing, good boy? My boy is going down. That's going to be a good debate series, last man. I'm, I'm about to win that Joan Bonton. Y'all just don't even don't even trip. I'm about to win that debate series. And if I don't, I'm I'm gonna finish top three. But hey, that's all I got, y'all. We gone. Y'all be safe. Bet. All right, then. We gone. We out. PJs, where you been at, big dog? What's happening? I got to get out of here, y'all. I got to get back to work. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day. Be safe out there. Love who love you, man. It's all right. It's your boy. We gone.